Hello everyone, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use human and machine resources to perform tasks with components in the Works library. Right now in the 3D world, I have a layout open called Works Tutorial to Start. You can find this layout in the Web eCatalog 2014 collection. I'm first going to show you how to set up a machine process task. So I'll select the process component here in the 3D world. I'll go to the Param tab and I'll select Machine Process to be the task I want to create. I can now enter the name of any machine in the 3D world that I want to run a process for. So I'll select this big machine here and get its name. I'll copy it. And I'll enter in the Single Component Name Property field. I can now define how long I want the process to run for. So instead of 10 seconds, I'll do it for 5 seconds. I'll create the task, and now I'll run the simulation. Notice that the machine executes a process, and it has two movable parts. Now, if I want the process component to move with one of these parts, it's very simple. I just need to parent it to one of those nodes. So I'll reset the simulation, click the PMP command, and I'll select this command here in the dynamic toolbar called Set Parent Node. So I'll click the command, and now I'll choose the node I want to parent the process component to. The blue arrow indicates I now have a parent-child hierarchy, so when I run the simulation, look what happens. The process component moves with that node. If you want to do a human resource process task, I'll show you how to do that now. I'll first select the process component and clear all tasks. I'll now select human process to be the task I want to create. I can now define the process time, so 5 seconds is OK. And now I need to give this task a name. And this name allows me to specify what human worker I want to perform this task. So I'll say move to machine. I'll create the task. And now I need to assign the task to a human worker. So I'll select a human worker here in the 3D world. And you can notice it has a task list property for assigning tasks that it can perform. So I'll enter move to machine. I'll hit the enter slash return key. So now when I reset the simulation and run it, the human worker goes to a default frame location in the process component and executes the process. Now if you want the human worker to go to a different location in the 3D world, use this component here, the works location component. Notice it has a property called process task that you can use to assign where you want the human worker to go. So in the process test property field, I'll enter move to machine hit the enter return key. I'll reset the simulation and run it again. The human worker goes to the location and executes the process. All right, so that's how you can execute a machine process task and a human process task. I'm now going to show you how to perform pick and place tasks using a human resource. So right now in the 3D world, I've already set up the layout and I'll run the simulation to show you what happens. So let me actually slow it down a bit for you. A sheet product is created, a machine does a process, that then turns the sheet into doors. And then I created a feed task for the doors to be placed over here in this component. So let's actually select the process component and I'll view the tab panel. You can notice this is a task name here, move doors. So I can now assign this task to the human resource. So I'll go to the task list. I'll enter the task name and hit the enter return key. So now when I reset the simulation and run it again, speed it up just a bit. The human resource will pick the product and place it where it's needed. However, I want to use those locations for the human resource performing this operation. So I'll stop the simulation and reset it. I'll use this task name of move doors. I'll go to the first location component next to the process machine. And for its pick tasks, I'll enter move doors. I'm now going to select the other location component. And for its place task property, I'll enter that same task name of move doors. So now I have locations of where I want the product to be picked and placed for that task. So now I run the simulation. The machine does a process. Human resource goes to that location, picks the product, and places it in the bin. All right, well, that completes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact us at our community at community.visualcomponents.net and look forward for more videos on the Works Library. And I hope you have a wonderful day.